What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Richie Ruckus. We're back here today. It is Monday, December 4th. I hope everybody had a great weekend. It was a Yeezy-less weekend, which has lately been a little bit of a rarity since we've been getting hit with Yeezys pretty much back to back. This weekend was an off weekend for that. This Saturday, the Grey Calabasas is released on December 9th. But this video today is about the blue tints that are released on December 16th. And this is a foolproof way to get them for retail. Do not buy a bot. Do not pay a penny over retail value for these sneakers. Before we get into this guide, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you're hitting the thumb up if you're feeling this video. And follow me on all social. Alright guys, so we're going to dive right into this. This is a guide on how to get the blue tint Yeezy 350 V2 that is dropping a few Saturdays from today, December 16th. Let me preface by saying this is going to seem very, very obvious. This is going to seem like I'm not even really giving you guys advice. But trust me, this is a foolproof method. I have gotten the Bread Yeezy 350s. I have gotten the Belugas. I have gotten the Creams. I have gotten the Coppers. I have gotten two pairs of 750s. What releases like the Frozen Yellow, this method will not work for that. But as far as the blue tints go, trust me when I say this is foolproof. And if you follow these steps, you will easily secure yourself multiple pairs of the blue tint 350 v2s if you guys have been paying attention to twitter instagram reading sneaker news any type of social media aspect any type of research you've done on these sneakers the stock list for these is very very close to the beluga 2.0 it's a little bit less but still close enough if you did any research or any type of background on the Beluga 2.0s, they were bountiful. I was able to secure multiple pairs. I never used a bot. The only pair of Yeezys I ever paid resale value for were the Zebras. And these methods could have worked on that. Just stuff came up and I wasn't really able to try to secure them as much as I wanted to. So once the price dropped a little bit, I ended up paying the resale value on them. But like I said, I know this is going to sound obvious, but it's raffles. And it's not just... Don't sign up for one raffle and be like, okay, I did my part. If you want a pair of sneakers bad enough for retail, all you have to do is do the legwork. Like, no one's ever going to come knock on your door. Here's a pair of Yeezys for you. It's, you, you have to do the legwork. You have to want the sneaker. I was talking to Sneaker Cruise about this the other day, actually. We, uh, we happened to run into each other, and he was like, you know, how many Belugas did you grab? And I said, just two. And he was like, did you even try? And like that's the thing like you have to just try this is strictly about raffles all you really have to do is you have to hit every store that's getting them in your general vicinity and maybe even a little further than you than you would normally travel and just hit every single raffle yes i know people think raffles are rigged and i'm going to be doing a separate video on that later in the week but trust me when i say if you do the legwork you will get the sneakers. I know this sounds obvious. I know this doesn't seem like some earth shattering, reinventing the wheel type information I'm giving you. It's really not that hard. It, it, it is that obvious. You just have to do the legwork. You can't wake up Saturday morning and go on the splash page and, and not cop and then say that you did everything you had to do to get the sneakers. I mean, you did everything you had to do as far as adidas.com, but you had, you know, that whole upcoming week of the release to go hit stores, find out what stores are getting them, find out what the store procedure is, do enter raffles, use the Foot Action Champs, Foot Locker, a reservation app, like their version of the Adidas Confirmed. Like you just have to do that type of stuff. You can't just sit back all week, relax, and then go on adidas.com Saturday morning and say you took an L. The L you took was self-inflicted when all week you sat around and did nothing. I, I know most people think that you shouldn't have to put in that kind of work to get sneakers. And, and you know, you're probably right. But at the end of the day, if you want something that is in such high demand and is such and so limited as a pair of Yeezys, you have to do the work yourself. Kanye's not going to come to your house and say, you know what, Joe, here's a pair of blue tents. That's pretty much it, guys. It was just going to be a short little video I wanted to drop today on Monday. I am going to come back later this week with some unboxings. I'm going to be talking about... 
that whole thing re regarding raffles. Are they rigged? Are they not rigged? A little bit of a Mythbuster type thing. I'm going to be jumping into another custom. Nyage is actually going to be assisting me with this one. We're going to try to not make it as sloppy and, you know, rushed as the Ultra Boost that I did. Nay's got some other stuff cooking she wants to try with this channel. We're going to be jumping into the top sneakers for Christmas. We're going to be jumping into the top sneakers yet to release this year since the year is winding down very fastly. That's pretty much it. I'm going to get out of here. Until tomorrow, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace. Cop them blue tents. Holla. Richie Ruckus, bitch.